Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by West Kiss Hair. This is how the hair looks straight out the package without any customization. This is the natural curl pattern. All I did was pluck it as I'm showing you guys here. All right guys, so this is the finished product of the hair. I really didn't do much to it. Um, I wanna say this is my first time plucking a unit because I usually do not pluck the edges, perimeter of units at all. I usually just do them glueless put them on, do a little bit of baby hairs, and that's it. I actually went in and plucked this hair, just trying to, you know, pluck around the perimeter a little bit. I also sprayed the lace with some spray tanner. And yeah, so those are just little tips that I got from other YouTubers. So I know I probably could have done a better job at it, but I'm just starting on this. I think I'm gonna start putting a little bit more effort into these units that I bring you guys. And so, you know. But anyways, as for this unit, this is from West Kiss Hair. As you know, this is their Brazilian Body Wave Hair. I got it in 20 inches. It is 180 density. They do have in lengths 10 inches all the way up to 24, 26 inches. Now, the hair did curl really easily, really fast. Literally, it probably took me three minutes to curl this side, three minutes to curl this side. So you have your hair do literally in like five minutes. So the curls, I've run my fingers through the curls a few times. It doesn't seem like the curls will last all day. I think these curls are gonna fall out probably within a few hours. And if I keep running my fingers through my hair, I think they're gonna come out even quicker than that. So that's a little bit of a bummer. And just to show you guys, I am 5'9". So this is where the 20 inch comes on me. I think this is a perfect length because I'm so used to getting either really, really long hair or short hair. I really don't get an in-between. Next time I work with them, I might try like an 18 or a 16, just to, you know, try something different. This is how it looks to the back. This is the length that comes on me. So it's like mid-back, like bra strap length, which I think is really nice. I think this is like a classy length. Like, it's not like, like a baddie going out length. This is like a classy, classic, everyday length. And I just put, like I said, I just parted down the middle, put some little curls in it. Didn't really do too much. Um, I plucked the part just a little bit. It probably needs to be plucked a little bit more. And I did put some concealer in the part as well. That's just what I always do. For some reason on this unit, there's like the way that they have it stitched down. It's weird. It's kind of like a little cowlick right here. I, I was using my hot comb to kind of flatten it out. And for some reason it wouldn't. It's just kind of like bumpy right here. And it's right he just right here on both sides. So it was just a little bit odd. But this hair is really cute. It did not have a smell to it. It did not shed. The only time that I got shedding is of course from when I plucked it and then I ran my fingers through it. But the hair is really nice. It's lustrous. As you can see, it's really shiny. It's like just that natural like 1B color. I would not dye this wig. Me personally, I think it's the perfect color. Like to me, this is like black hair, like, you know, like off, kind of like an off black color, but I love the style. It was, like I said, it was very easy to pluck. When you receive your hair in the mail, you will receive it in a box just like this. So you can save this box. You can store units in this box. I usually don't save them. I toss them out because they do give you a satin bag to carry your units in. Not to carry them, to store your units in. So definitely use your satin bag. Next thing you get is a wig band. And they also give you a wig cap. It was just a little bit too dark for my liking. But yeah, it's always nice to have a bunch of these just on hand. So Weska's Hair is having a sale right now. They always have sales. They always have coupon codes. Make sure to look down below in the description box so you can get their latest coupon code. I will have the link straight to this unit down there as well. Now Weska's, they do have all different styles of hair. They do have bundles. They have wigs. They have lace wigs, 13 by four, which is what this is. They, they also have 13 by six lace frontal wigs. So whatever you want, they have. They have Peruvian, Brazilian, Indian, Malaysian hair. They have colored hair. They have just natural color hair. Anything you want, they do have on their website. You guys make sure to check them out. I wanna thank West Kiss Hair for always working with me and for sponsoring today's video. And guys, like I said, make sure to check them out. I really like this unit. Like I said, it's something a little bit different for me. I just need to perfect doing my baby hairs and plucking it and doing all that. But once I become a pro, just just wait, just wait. It's, it's coming, okay? It's coming. All right, guys, now on to the vlog.
Okay, so I'm about to get my eyebrows done. So, this is the first for me, Herb. Herb is gonna do my eyebrows with, not clippers, but I think a razor, so. Let's see how that goes. Look at this comb, isn't this comb cool? It has like, oops. It's like a ruler slash comb, can y'all see? Of course it don't wanna focus. But anyway. So yeah, I think this is what he's using on my eyebrows. Pray for me. What you what you want me to do to him? Just I leave mean, him thick. Look look at it, just show me, just outline it and show me. Oh, okay. So just the new little hairs down here, mm -hmm. you see the stubble, mm -hmm. just clean those up. And then just on the top, you know, just- Just tap it. Right. Try to look. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. Cleaned up. We got action. All right. You might know a thing or two about a brow. Maybe. All right. On to the next one. Turn the chair. They look good. Y'all know I got sparse areas of my eyebrow. They look good. I feel fresh. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, they look good. Oh, okay. Ooh, look good. Can you do my mustache too? <laughs> oh, y'all can't see that. Finally comfortable, and I think I'm about to lay down, take a nap. Just got a package right there. Hot Miami Styles package just came in. So I will be doing a try on haul for you guys soon. I have another one from a another company. I forgot what they're called, but um, so yeah, I got try on hauls coming soon. I could be recording those right now, but I'm so tired. Like it's ugly, overcast outside. I don't wanna. I don't know. I just don't wanna do anything. Like I'm tired. That's my right there. That's my work board for like YouTube, Instagram posts and stuff. I don't have it organized any type of way. I just have everything written down. Like this is what I have to do for these certain companies. So <sighs> there's so many videos I could be recording, but I'm choosing not to. I know it's bad. I'm being lazy, but I just need a nap. I only had six hours of sleep last night, six hours of sleep the night before. So your girl is tired. Don't judge me. I'm gonna do better. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye. I just woke up from the best nap. Oh my God. I was only supposed to take like a 30, 45 minute nap. It turned into like an hour and a half. Here go my wig laying next to me. Had to pull that off. Pull my eyelashes off. Put them on the table next to me. I just, I just needed a midday nap and I have not done that in so long i don't do midday naps because when i do midday naps i tend to stay up too late when i need to go to bed early so but i needed it my body's tired i don't know why my body's tired like we ain't been doing nothing at work like i, I don't i really ain't been doing nothing around the house except for like you know work with the kids and cleaning up and stuff but my body needed this damn nap i think i'm about to watch some youtube videos or try to find something on tv i look so ugly from this angle let me hold it up so I look skinnier. Still didn't help. And I sound like Barry White, so I'll be back with y'all later. All right, so I'm up, about to make dinner. I need to go like grocery shopping again, even though I just went like a few days ago and spent almost $100. It's like, I don't have any meat or anything. Like, it's just weird. So what I do have is brown rice, spinach, and ground turkey. So I looked up some recipes what you can make with those ingredients. And y'all, literally all you have to do in Google search, if you only have rice, beans, and kale, like literally type that in Google and just put the ingredients you have and put recipes and they will find you a recipe for whatever, it don't matter what you have. They, they don't have a recipe on Google for you. So I'm gonna attempt to do like a casserole. So I already got the brown rice cooking. I'm about to brown the turkey and the spinach. The oven is preheating, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out because this is literally just 
some that I'm throwing together. Like, this is an experiment. So, I'm trying to taste good, though. You can't go wrong with spinach and brown turkey and rice and cheese. Like, you, how you go wrong with that? All right, got the ground turkey. That's just a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna mix that in with some milk. The brown rice is done. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna layer it or if I'm just gonna mix it all together and sprinkle the cheese on top. Because if I layer it, maybe I'll layer it. I don't know, all the recipes are different. Let me, let me let me ponder this for a moment. In the next clip, you guys will see what I chose to do. All right, so I just mixed it all together, added one egg, cheese, and mix it all up. It does not look appetizing right now, but I'm gonna add my layer of cheese to the top and put it in the oven, and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> and hopefully it tastes good, that's the main thing. All right, both of the cheeses are on, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, and it's gonna go in the oven for probably about 20 minutes. All right, food is in the oven, so I'm about to wash dishes. It's a must. Dishes need to be washed before and after I cook. So it's not that much, just a little bit. So I'm about to wash that, clean up the kitchen, and wait for the stir. So thank you, Heather, for letting me do this for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for We only hand wash around here, no dishwashing. Gotta make sure everything gets crispy, sparkly, clean. Okay. kitchen is now clean yes I knocked everything onto the ground because guess what I'm about to sweep it all up I don't like knocking like wet dirty stuff into my hand that is disgusting that cringes me out like just thinking about it no but um I'm about to rewipe the stove down I'm about to rewipe the stove down because I wiped it down with like my sponge and stuff but because oil gets all over it I feel like I need to wipe it with something dry so I'm about to wipe it with a paper towel then I'm gonna sweep and then I'm gonna eat so my food should be ready by then and why do I keep moving my hand like this why 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 all right this is the end result y'all can see them bubbles yes yeah. so it's gonna sit for about 10 minutes and then I will cut into it boy Tupac was so ahead of his time let's see is it gonna stay together or fall apart oh Whoa, okay, we got a little action. Woo! Okay, first taste test. Get a little piece of spinach on that thing. Let's see. Oh. All right, let's see. I snapped the smell on my food. I don't know why. Hmm. Tastes pretty good. Needs a little spice or something, but it's good. Later. All right, y'all. So I was just in my other closet looking. I look disgusting. So looking at like my pile of stuff that I need to sell. Like, oh my God, y'all look at this pile. Look at this pile. Let me show you just how high it is. Cause just looking from here, you can't tell how high it is. I'm standing next to it. I'm five nine. These are my hips. It's right here. Literally, it's right at my hip. You see, this the pile is at my hip. Like, I have so much stuff I need to get rid of. 
and I've already given stuff away to my sister, to my best friend. Like, oh my God, I need help, I need help. I should have done this during quarantine, but I just been lazy, y'all. And then I have like two clothing sponsorships in my room and then I have, I think three other ones on the way. So it's gonna be more shit added to it. Like that is just a scary ass pile, like. Oh, it stresses me out. It gives me anxiety. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to go to bed. My wig is off. My face is washed. I'm about to go to bed. My bonnet is on. So, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next vlog. So, yeah, love you guys. Bye.